Let's get straight on to our uh, discussion. Jayanti Natarajan of Congress uh, with us. Ma'am, what do you think this exercise really has achieved? Uh, in many ways, it did seem to backfire on the government. Not in the least, uh, Natasha. I don't believe it backfired on the government at all because uh, this is a part of uh, parliamentary process when uh, the views of the opposition are taken on board on any issue of major national importance. Hmm. And uh, that is exactly what was done. And um, I do believe that uh, the, what the Prime Minister is... Uh, I wasn't there, obviously, at the meeting. But from media reports, what uh, the Prime Minister said at the beginning is what we've been saying all along, that uh, we are committed to a strong Lokpal and that it should be within the framework of the Constitution of India. Right, Prime Minister. Just like you're saying that and the Prime Minister said procedure. today what he's been saying all along. Well, parties have also been demanding an official draft. They've been saying we're waited, ready to debate it in Parliament. Instead, well, uh, the government really goes in there with a draft that's not cleared by Cabinet. Parliament is postponed. Many are asking what, what is uh, the ruling party trying to achieve with this strategy? Well, you know, actually, I think that uh, with, uh, with the greatest of respect, uh, the argument that is advanced in that respect uh, is uh, politically expedient because, uh, for example, the BJP had a point of view when Mr. Vajpayee was the prime minister that the prime minister should come under the Lokpal bill. The, the left has already said so openly. Uh, the AIADMK leader, Ms. Jayalalita, has clearly said that she thinks that the Prime Minister should not come under the Lokpal bill. Eminent people from civil society, Justice, uh, Chief Justice Varma, Justice Venkata Chalaya. The point I'm really making, Natasha, is that nothing prevents the leading opposition parties from giving their views on a subject. Right. And it's entirely technical to insist that government should come forward with its draft. Right, ma'am. Very it's quickly, Sushma Swaraj is tweeting it's saying that the bill should go to a standing committee. Do you agree with that? Well, yes, that's a part of the procedure, but that doesn't prevent uh, uh, the op uh, leading opposition party from giving us its view. It's not a murder mystery. I mean, the issues are all before us. You don't need a government draft to give your view right, on whether the Lokpal should cover the Prime Minister, should right, cover the judiciary, should cover the higher bureaucracy. Right. Rajiv Pratap Ruri now with us. Uh, uh, respond to that, Mr. Ruri. Why insist there on a government draft? Why not really make your stand clear? We don't even know what the BJP stand is, even though we've seen some NDA allies make their stand for the first time clear this evening. Well, uh, it's a very good question. And... Uh, the fact remains that uh, the party uh, did resolve something along with all others. And this, that resolve was that we need to have a very strong anti-corruption uh, bill which, uh, which the Bharti Janta Party is going to support. Now, the fact remains that before, because the, the Bharti Janta Party is not there to bail out the Congress Party. We see two drafts there. One is by the Civil Rights Society, other right. is by that group of ministers. But we actually need the draft of the government. And unless and until uh, the draft which is brought by the government, approved by the cabinet, placed before us, we are, after all, the national opposition party. We'll right. play a very key role in passing that bill. But, so whatever the government wants sir, to put there, whatever, whatever, let, let the government put whatever it wants. If, they, if, the, if those features are not there which the BJP wants, BJP will fair see enough, that. Fair enough, fair enough. But don't you believe, uh, sir, that, that is spelling point. out your stand will help the debate? No, I think uh, we suspect the Congress party. And uh, initially, how they started up with the civil rights activists, they never thought it was important to consult the opposition, the least of all the main opposition party as well. So we do not have faith on this government, which is all, all round tarnished of uh, charges of corruption. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free, ndtv.com slash apps.